Hello everyone, it is Alice Killings 97 here. And I was supposed to get this yesterday, but it didn't come. Anyway, today I got Woman in Black, uh, from Amazon, uh, you know. I have, I've seen this film by, uh, before, you know, I saw it twice actually in the cinema. And this film was just scary as hell for me, I mean, there were some people who, you know, did not find this scary. But for me, and you know, a lot of other people, this was a terrifying film. And I've seen loads of horror films which haven't actually scared me at all, and this film, though, did scare me a lot, I mean, I was terrified, I mean, I was, I mean, when I, you know, the first time I went, I actually uh, went to the toilet, uh, if you get my little finger moving it there, uh, second time I actually needed the toilet, you know, and I went with my mum and then my friend, my friend found it really scary as well, he was actually worse than me, but anyway, uh, I got this today, uh, you know, it's really scary, uh, on the front it's got, um, Five out of five from the uh, mail, uh, mail on Sunday, uh, and five star from now, uh, and then a spine chilling ghost story. Don't watch it alone from David Edwards in the of the mirror. Uh, it's also got Daniel Radcliffe who actually played Harry Potter as you can see. That's uh, Daniel Radcliffe there, and then it's got the woman in black. Fear her curse. If you have not watched this film, I really recommend you watch this film. It is an incredible film. I absolutely love this film, and uh, that's why I got it. Uh, it's only a 12, and that's really weird, because this film was scary as hell, and, uh, you know, a court, you know, if I had my way, and if a lot of people had their way, this would be a 15, because it was terrifying. I mean, at my school, they've had arguments, you know, this should definitely be a 15. You know, it is a definite 15, in my opinion, so, you know, I wouldn't watch it if you're 12, uh, because it's just so scary. Uh, and then on the back, it's got an intense and nerve-shattering experience for Star, the sun. And a uh, terrifying uh, four star, uh, the Daily Telegraph. Okay, so there's uh, uh, Arthur Gibbs, who's actually played as, uh, you know, who's Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, this says, Do you believe in ghosts? Based on the classic ghost story, The Woman in Black tells the tale of Arthur Kipps, Daniel Radcliffe, a lawyer who is forced to leave his young son and travel to a remote village to attend to the affairs of the recently deceased owner of the Eel Marsh House. The, of the Eel Marsh House. Uh, Working alone in the co in the old mansion, Gibbs begins to uncover the town's tragic and tortured secrets, and his fears escalate when he discovers that local children have been disappearing under mysterious circumstances. When these when those closest to him become threatened by the vengeful woman in black, Gibbs must find a way to break the cycle of terror. Radcliffe is terrific, terrific from Total Film as well. Uh, it's got special features. I don't think this is actually a special edition. Um, it, I think it just has special features on it. Uh, I'm not going to give you a list of them. It's 91 minutes long and, you know, it's in colour and all that good stuff. Uh, contains intense supernatural threat and horror. So anyway, you know, um, this film was just fantastic. It's got a very nice slip on it as well. This film was fantastic. Okay, um, I would really recommend you watch it. I know in America it wasn't as popular, but in the UK, I mean, if you're in America now, in the UK it was extremely popular. Uh, and I'm not just saying that. It was like, it's probably the most popular film of the year so far. Uh, you know, because it's Harry Potter is the from the UK as well, so it's Daniel Radcliffe. And if you're like me and you're from the UK, you only want we went to watch this because Daniel Radcliffe's in it. Anyway, it's just the same really as the front. You know, it's got all the stuff on there and the fear her and you know, it's literally the same as the pack had. Uh, and this has got a nice white case as you can see, which is very nice. Anyway, let's just open this then. Yeah, I've only just got home from school, and I don't know why it didn't come yesterday. Yeah, I, yeah, because I ordered the release day delivery, which was yesterday, but it didn't come. Anyway, okay, uh, this film is more jumpy than scary, I have to say. Uh, that's the main scare, the jump, the jumpy, you know, kind of thing. It had a few scares, uh, but it was mainly jumpy, and I can't actually open this damn thing. Hang on a second. Uh, yeah, we are. Okay, so it's got this little wooden black thing. It's probably just got like s things they're selling and. Um, okay then. Sorry, I'm just gonna. Yeah, it's not really much in it. Just dump it on the floor. It's it's actually just got one pa two pages, I think. I think it's just ad yeah, it's just advertising random books and stuff like that. Anyway, then we got the disc. Uh, it's the playing disc again. Uh, there's a woman in black there. You can't actually see her face. You don't actually see her face till near the end. Well, actually, it is the very end when you get to see it close up. There it is. Uh, again, if you have not watched this film, 100% recommend it. Uh, one of the best films I've ever, ever, ever seen. My favourite horror film, actually, as well. Uh, and I would just honestly say, don't think, just buy this film. It is just insane. 
it is you've got to get this i mean if you if you don't want to get it uh you're a bit mad you know it's a scary film it's exciting it's breathtaking it's just fantastic so you know get this film uh, as soon as you can uh, and yeah i'll see you later guys